Hey everybody, happy Sunday, day two of three of the Memorial Day weekend. Today, highs in the mid 80s. We were wet in the first quarter of the day between 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. We've dried out since then. Mid 80s today, near 90 tomorrow, windy tomorrow as well. We also have to dive into the severe weather threat. Today, it's in northwest Iowa, but tomorrow it shifts for Monday across central and west central northwest Iowa. We've seen far northwest Iowa. They're in the level three out of five. There is a level four out of five that is in southwest Minnesota. But in our viewing area, that three out of five risk has been trimmed back out of here. Low risk for tornadoes, low risk for hail and a medium risk for winds. So I'd say if you had to rank those, it's going to be damaging winds, chance of a few tornadoes and not that great of a risk for hail. We'll show you a feature cast here in just a second. Then on Tuesday, it shifts to southeastern Iowa. Central Iowa still in the one out of five risk here. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about Tuesday. I think most of Tuesday uh, stays dry. Windy tomorrow. Sustained winds between 20 and 30 miles per hour. Gusts between 50 and 55 miles per hour, especially in northwest Iowa. Highs tomorrow. I do think, I do think we hit 90 degrees. You see clouds in the morning. They should depart as the day progresses, though. If you have any plans for Memorial Day, you're good throughout most of the day. Again, some clouds in the morning. Those will taper off throughout the day. Still very windy. Look at that by 2 p.m. already in the upper 80s. Wind gusts tonight really not going to taper off that much at all. 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Gusts between 25 and 35 miles per hour. We'll stop it here at 2 p.m. tomorrow. Wind gusts between 30 and 40 pretty much throughout the entire state. Then by the evening hours tomorrow, wind gusts in northwest Iowa upwards of 50 miles per hour here in Des Moines, probably closer to 40 miles per hour. I'm going to show you two different future cast models. This is the one that I think has the least likelihood of actually occurring. I should have warned at the, at the beginning. This is probably a little bit longer of a video than yesterday's, uh, but here we go. Temperatures tonight only in the low 70s, so a very mild night. I probably wouldn't open the windows. It's going to be a little bit humid out there. Uh, we might see some showers early in the morning hours north of I-30 or north of I-80. Nothing too widespread. Look up by 430. Plenty of sun highs in the upper 80s. And then we start to see a Boeing line of storms form west of I-35 right around sunset here, 730 p.m. But then watch as these move to the east. It's almost like they split in two and Des Moines doesn't see anything. North central Iowa has some cells. South central Iowa also some cells. And it leaves the state pretty much dry through 5 a.m. Then there's that rain for southeast Iowa on Tuesday morning. I, I personally don't buy this. Here's the reason why. We'll show you a different model. We'll run through you tonight. Still low 70s. So they agree in terms of the temperatures. Same thing. Maybe some showers early in the day tomorrow. But then by 530, again, we're sunny and dry and we're hot. We're very windy as well. And then watch what happens. Here's 830. Here's a what we call a discrete, probably a supercell forming in west central Iowa. That pushes off to the north and to the east. That would be a cell that would have tornadic potential because then watch what happens behind that. A second line of storms form around midnight tomorrow night. These would have the damaging wind threats, but probably not that high. You see the wind barbs right now, really not moving that, really not moving that fast, uh, but still something to be mindful of. So the question is, do supercells, do those discrete cells form out ahead of that main line before that, line before that line comes through after 10 p.m.? If not, the tornado threat is virtually nothing, virtually zero, uh, and then the damaging wind threat would take over. So to kind of summarize all that in one graphic, we have this for you. Severe weather threat for Monday. Uh, we're fine up until 6, 7 p.m. By 8 p.m., the threat starts to increase. The threat for tornadoes only exists around or before sunset, you can see that two out of five risk kind of is sustaining until about midnight. I don't even know if that's that. <laughs> that might be too high at that point. But as the night goes on, the damaging wind threat will likely go up, especially with that line of storms. If that actually does happen, progresses through, that would have that damaging wind threat. Some of the models are Im implicating, really, that we could see some heavy rainfall with that system. Chances some flash flooding, but it's not really too much of a concern right now. Low 70s tonight, near 90 tomorrow. Severe weather uh, possible after about 7 o'clock. Here's your Holt Plumbing Heating 10 day forecast. A lot quieter after tomorrow. I think Tuesday is going to turn out to be an OK day other than the rain in southeastern Iowa. Uh, highs near 80. Wednesday's the coolest day of the work week in the upper 60s. Thursday and Friday are perfect. And then the models have a lot of rain for next weekend and early the following week. Uh, but let's get through tomorrow first.